In this video, we learn about flowcharts. Flowcharts is a very important topic in media computing module that uses scratch programming software. We hope that at the end of this lesson, you will be able to explain what a flowchart is, how we use flowcharts in animation, how to read the flowchart, how to use the four flowchart symbols correctly, and explain the difference between the if and the repeat until statements using, used in Scratch. Flowcharts. A flowchart is a diagram to show a sequence of events, especially in Scratch programming. In the Scratch animation, we use a flowchart to show the behavior of a background or character like a sprite. In this example one, it is an animation which darkens the background. In the flowchart that is related to the animation, there is the start button and the end button. And these are both represented by rounded rectangles that is at the top and the bottom of the flowchart. When we read the flowchart, it is from top to bottom. So we start from number one, start using arrows to go downwards, and every arrow will bring us to a new action or a decision. And N stands for no, Y stands for yes. So a question like this, is the brightness equals to negative 100? If it's yes, then the animation ends. If it's no, then it will loop up to the right, up, and to the next arrow that joins back to the arrow that goes to change brightness effect by negative 10. So in the next animation, which is to make an end move, this is our example 2, same thing, we will start from the top and end at the bottom using both terminating shapes, which is the rounded rectangle for the start and for the end. Let's now go through the shapes. This is a rounded rectangle. This is a parallelogram. This is a rectangle, rectangle, and a diamond. Now, when do we use which shape? There are four flowchart symbols that you have to learn. These are the terminator, the process, the input or output, and the decision. These are the four basic flowchart symbols, which are also the category names. The four flowchart symbols and what they mean are all detailed here in the table. This is the category name, terminator. The meaning is to show the beginning or the end of a flowchart. The symbol used will be a rounded rectangle and we only put the start or the end. And when it comes to the codes in Scratch, it will be actually like the green flag is click or the space bar is click or any other key on the keyboard is click. And when it ends, it's the stop all button. Next, process, it shows action. And this action is, for example, to move 10 steps or to turn clockwise 15 degrees and both uses a rectangle. So rectangle shows the process. And when it comes to the codes in Scratch, it is by the blue color category, which moves 10 steps or to turn 15 degrees. For input, output and appearance, it actually shows the data that you want the user to input or the data coming out to show the user, or the appearance of the sprite. This is represented by parallelogram, which shows show or hide, or any other actions that is a process, that is, sorry, that is an input or output. Lastly, when it comes to decision, it shows a question that you want to be answered, yes or no. So a question like, is the sprite touching the edge, ends with a question mark, 
or is the sprite touching the green color? Question mark. So this is represented by a code like if statement in scratch, if touching edge or if touching any other colors. I will talk more about the diamond decisions in this slide. We use several touch conditions in our animation in scratch. For example, touching another sprite, touching the edge, touching another object like another sprite, or touching a color. Now this box is very important, you have to learn. A decision, a decision symbol is used in the flowchart to represent a condition. And the condition is question mark. If it's true, use the arrow to draw down to the bottom. And the next thing to follow is action when the condition is true. However, if it's false, we need to move to the right side and followed by the actions to take if the condition is false. Next, a condition is a part of a conditional statement like if and a loop like repeat until. There are two types which are very popular. The first one is the if statement. If touching H go to X negative 209, Y negative 59, and this means that if this is true, then take this action, as you can see here. However, for the second type, for the repeat until statement, repeat until touching edge or touching color. If it has not touched the red color, it should continue to move 15 steps and wait 0.2 seconds and keep coming back to this question to test if it's true. So for these two actions here, move 15 steps and wait 0.2 seconds. It is the actions to take when the condition for this question is false or the answer to this question is no. Then you move 15 steps and wait 0.2 seconds. I'm going to do a demonstration here. This demonstration is for animation for moving end. The end appears at the hole and starts moving towards the edge, changing its looks as it moves. When it touches the edge, it will disappear and the animation will end. This is the script for the end. When a green flag is clicked, go to this position, switch to the costume N1 and show. Repeat until touching edge. If no, if it's not touching edge, then keep moving 10 steps, change to next costume, wait 0.2 seconds, and ask the question again, is it touching edge? If it's now touching edge, it should jump to height and stop off. So I'm going to use these shapes at the bottom by duplicating the shapes because I may use them more than once. When green flag is clicked, it should be a terminator shape. So I shall put it here and type start. Go to negative 175 and y negative 80. So when go to, it means it is a process that you want the computer to or scratch program to do for you. Make sure you tidy this up until it looks perfect. Next, go to costume, switch to costume M1. To switch is a it is an appearance, so I'm going to use a parallelogram. Next, to show is an input output, so I'm going to use a parallelogram again.
and repeat until touching edge is a question. I'm going to use a decision. This end touching edge. If the answer is yes, I have to move to the bottom. So I'm going to remove this to the right side in order to make space. If it's touching edge, then the answer is yes. And I'll come out from this loop to go to height and stop all. And height is appearance. So I'm going to make it smaller here. And stop all is the terminator. And it's represented by N. Now, we have not done these three things. It means that if repeating until touching H is a no, then we have to move 10 steps. And for no decision, I have to move to the right side. First of all, we have to do the move 10 steps. So move 10 steps is a process. Put it on the right side of the diamond shape. To change the next costume, it is a appearance. So I'm going to make a parallelogram. And I keep moving to the right side. I do not need the decision anymore, so I'm going to remove this. Wait 0 0.2 seconds is a process. I'm going to use this. Wait 0 0.2 seconds. And I do not need the rest anymore. Now it's time to fill the arrows. Insert. Shapes. Arrow. I'm going to duplicate this Y for yes next to the arrow here and and for no next to the arrow that we are about to put it here so we need a few more arrows insert shapes arrow I'll draw an arrow to the right side And after waiting 0 0.2 seconds, you have to go back up and ask the question again. So I'm going to draw a arrow close up. And ask the question again, is N touching H? So you keep checking until if it's touching H, then it should hide and end. That's all for the demonstration. On your own now, you have to produce a flowchart for this next animation. And it is worth 15 marks, which the marks will be accounted for in your CA2.